Here are some of the best places to visit in Germany, including modern cities, picturesque lake resorts, fairy tale towns, and rolling landscapes. It can be difficult to decide where to go on your next holiday in Germany because there are so many different destinations to see. The nation is home to a wide variety of attractions, including lively cities, lovely woods, and multiple UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Keep on watching to see the top destinations in Germany listed below to help you narrow down your choices. Number 1. Berlin Germany's capital, which is exciting and energetic, is the epicenter of all that is cool in the fields of art, fashion, music, and design. There are many entertaining things to do in Berlin, and the city is filled with amazing architecture. You won't be short of choices whether you want to explore the city's fashionable restaurant and bar scene or satisfy your need for culture at one of the many museums and art galleries. Naturally, Berlin is also the location of a number of significant historical sites and landmarks. These include the Jewish Museum, Checkpoint Charlie, the Brandenburg Gate, and the Berlin Wall. The UNESCO World Heritage Site Museum Island, which is home to five of Berlin's most significant museums, is among the other must-see locations. You might wish to plan a weekend trip because there is so much to see and do. Fortunately, Berlin's bustling neighborhoods provide a wide selection of hotels and B&Bs. Read our list of top things to do in Berlin for more ideas. Number 2. The Black Forest You most likely heard one or more Brothers Grimm fairy tales while growing up. Why not travel to the fabled location that allegedly served as the inspiration for Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, and Sleeping Beauty? The Black Forest, an area of 11,100 square kilometers of spectacular natural scenery in southwest Germany, borders France, is a perfect spot to reconnect with nature, whether on foot, by bike, or on horseback with its extensive evergreen woods, stunning lakes, and waterfalls. The area is also home to a number of charming villages. These include the more than 2,000-year-old renowned thermal spa town of Baden-Baden. The Romans used to travel there to take therapeutic thermal spring baths. At the turn of the 19th century, they subsequently developed into the wealthiest, into the wealthy summer capital of Europe. Today, visitors can still enjoy the mineral-rich waters bubbling up from 12 thermal springs. If you choose to climb Feldberg, Germany's tallest mountain, which is 1,493 meters high, you may also need to take some time to rest your aching bones. Number 3. Schloss Neuschwanstein Speaking of sleeping beauty, Walt Disney's design for the palace at Disney was inspired by a breathtakingly gorgeous castle that is also located in Germany. Schloss Neuschwanstein, the crown gem of Un Schloss Neuschwanstein, the crown gem of Europe's fairy tale castles, and one of the most visited locations in Germany, lies tucked away in the Bavarian Alps. The magnificent palace is renowned for its exquisite spires that protrude from trees Ludwig II of Bavaria ordered constructed in 1869 only for pleasure. No matter your age, when you explore the magnificent castle, your imagination will probably run wild, especially when you find a wonderful grotto and a throne room with a huge chandelier in the style of a crown. The good news is that you can always board the gorgeous horse-drawn carriage and ride to the top if you don't feel like walking upwards for 30 minutes to get there. How's that for being treated like royalty? You can visit the magnificent Schloss Hohenzwangau, Neues Schloss Herrensmischi, and Schloss Linderhof, which are also among King Ludwig's other Bavarian castles. Number 4. Cologne The magnificent Cologne Cathedral, the pinnacle of Gothic architecture, dominates the skyline of the city. The Ottonian Gera Cross, the oldest significant sculpture of the crucified Christ north of the Alps, is also housed in the imposing UNESCO World Heritage Site. Beyond this magnificent structure, the city is teeming with wonderful galleries, eateries, pubs, and most importantly, chocolate. The Chocolate Museum in Cologne is a must-see if you have a severe sweet craving Nine display rooms spread over this 4,000 square meter chocolate wonderland teach visitors about the history and culture of chocolate, which dates back 3,000 years to the Mayans and Aztecs. 
There are more than 2,000 displays to examine, including a 3-meter high chocolate fountain into which you may dip a waffle. A stunning view of the Rhine may also be enjoyed from the Museum Cafe's 30-meter long panoramic window. There are various brewery tours and tastings available, though if you prefer German beer, you may enjoy Kost, the crown jewel of the local beer scene here. Check out the brewery taverns in the old quarter as well. Servers will replenish your glass until you place a beer mat over the top to indicate that you've had enough. Additionally, you should be aware that this festival isn't nicknamed the Crazy Days for nothing if you happen to visit Cologne during carnival celebrations. Number 5. Beirut Beirut, a town in northern Bavaria, plays host to the renowned Richard Wagner Festival each year. The well-known attendant celebration of the German-born composer turns the town into a mecca for fans of opera. But even if you're not a fan of opera, the opulent interior of the Magravial Opera House from the 18th century will leave you speechless. This Baroque theater, architectural marvel, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It can accommodate 500 people, many of whom come to see real Baroque court opera. Aside from this gorgeous structure, Beirut enjoys a rich culture and heritage. This is evident in the wide range of cultural attractions it offers. There are more than two dozen museums and organizations among them, as well as a number of significant historical sites and castles. If you enjoy a beer, the city is among the best in Germany to visit. You can sample a wide range of brews at a number of breweries and museums. The Beirut Catacombs, which are located underneath the Beirut Brewery, are one of these. Before sipping an Atkin Azibico basement beer in the welcoming Brustubel, you can explore the enigmatic beer cellar labyrinth here and learn about its history. The Messel's World of Beer Experience, in the meantime, is the largest beer museum in the world and holds the Guinness Book of Records title. At the location, you can partake in seminars, brewery tours, and beer tastings. You can always unwind with a pint if that's what you like. Number 6. The Upper Middle Rhine Valley The Upper Middle Rhine Valley, which spans France, Germany, and Switzerland, exhibits the best that each of these three nations has to offer. It is hardly surprising that the portion of the area was given a UNESCO World Heritage status in 2002. Given the abundance of spectacular hilltop castles, charming old towns, and picturesque terrace vineyards, over the past two centuries, a number of poets, artists, and composers have drawn inspiration from the natural scenery along the Rhine, and it is easy to understand why. You pass the lovely towns of Bingen and Rodesheim as you travel down the river. The river also passes by the renowned Lorelei Rock, a slate cliff that overlooks the river's narrowest point as it leaves the Roman town of Koblenz. According to legend, a stunning siren by the name of Lorelei would sing to entice sailors to their deaths on the rocks. The upper middle Rhine Valley is almost home to 500 hectares of steep vineyard slopes that produce some of Germany's best Rieslings, in addition to folklore. When soaking in the stunning vistas and holding a glass of Westwein, wine enthusiasts will undoubtedly be in heaven. In the region, there are numerous winery tours and tasting opportunities to choose from. Number 7. Munich Munich, the capital of Bavaria, is probably one of the most international towns in Germany. There are many bars, restaurants, churches, and of course, beer gardens in Munich. The largest beer festival in the world, Oktoberfest, which is held there every autumn, is what really makes the city famous. More than 6 million visitors from all over the world attend the 16-18 to 18 day festival, which features a jam-packed schedule of live entertainment, amusement rides, competitions, and of course, Lederhausen. Booking in advance is crucial due to the festival's enormous popularity which makes Munich one of the most sought-after destinations in Germany during this period. Munich is a great city to visit all year if you don't want to mingle with the crowds. The Marienplatz Central Square, home to the new Town Hall, Old Town Hall, and Marian Sol is one of its most well-known attractions. The Glockenspiel in the tower balcony of Neue Ratus has been entrancing guests with swirling miniatures 
reflecting stories from Munich's history for more than a century. The daily 10-minute performance airs at 11, 12, and during the summer, 5 in the afternoon. An observation deck at the 85-meter tall tower summit provides breathtaking city vistas. Meanwhile, the 150-year-old Ratzkelle restaurant in the subterranean vault of Neues Rathaus. Number 8. Lake Constance Lake Constance, which borders Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, is still among the most well-liked vacation spots in Germany, and for good reason, has a unique allure due to its adaptability which caters to a variety of preferences. On the island and in the environment reserves, nature lovers will find a variety of species. The cities of Constance, Lindo, Oberlingen, and Fragenschaffen on the lake Meantime, provide a wealth of cultural attractions to discover. Whether they want to go sailing, windsurfing, canoeing, or swimming at one of the many sand and pebble beaches, sports enthusiasts can benefit from extensive selection of sea and land activities on offer. They can also board a boat and travel to one of the picturesque islands in the lake. There is a lot to discover in the neighborhood as well such as stunningly restored stone and bronze age homes in Falbauten, baroque castles and churches and monasteries. Even if that isn't enough to convince you to visit, the view of the Alps from Lake Constance Shore is. Number 9. Rothenburg ob der Tuber. When you visit the enchanting German village of Rothenburg ob der Tuber, you might feel as though you've stepped into the pages of your favorite childhood fairy tale. The town is well known for its breathtaking medieval architecture and is situated in the Franconia area of Bavaria, along the well-traveled Romantic Road. The cobblestone streets of the old town, which looks out over the Tober River, are lined with half-timbered homes. You can explore various surviving gatehouses and towers, historic medieval museums and cathedrals, while strolling through this picturesque landscape and along the town walls. One of these is Kirchengemen, St. Jacob, a church that is located on the Marktplatz and is regarded as one of the best of its kind in Germany. The church, which was built in the 13th century, is home to the well-known Holy Blood Altar by Tillmann Reismann Schneider and more than 700-year-old stained glass windows. A 50-meter high tower at the neighboring Rathaus provides amazing 360-degree views of the city. The nearby Radster Trinskov from the 14th century has a mechanical clock with figures. Every hour on the hour, this comes to life to replay the fabled tale of the valiant mayor who drank nearly a gallon of wine to save the city. Rothenburg ob Tertuber hosts a renowned Christmas market in December. Number 10. The Sugspitz A trip to the magnificent peak of the Sugspitz would undoubtedly give you a sense of what it's like to be on top of the world, or at least, of Germany. This mountain, which has a top elevation of 2,962 meters and is on the border between Germany and Austria, is the tallest in the country. The view from the top includes more than 400 mountains dispersed across the country, all surrounded by steep valleys. There are two ways to climb the mountain, which is great because it is well worth the effort. You can either board one of the three cable cars or go via mountain railway on the Bayerisch Zugspitzbahn. The latter travels from the Zugspitzbahnhof in Garmisch to the Zugspitzplatz Glacier Station, making stops at other stations along the way. In the meantime, it takes just 10 minutes for the world waking breaking cable car to transport tourists to the summit. When you reach the top, you can eat at one of the three restaurants that are situated at various stations while taking in the breathtaking 360-degree views. Zugspitz is also an excellent choice if you want a winter break and some action on the slopes because there are so many ski resorts close by. Unfortunately, you don't often see Germany at the top of traveler's list, despite the fact that it is a stunning, diverse nation with an excellent culture and many travel choices. So which of the places we've mentioned shocked you the most? Also, check out this other video if you want to visit Norway. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our top 10 prime picks.